Eating the wrong foods can clog arteries, increase blood pressure, and cause heart disease. Meanwhile, the right foods can actually help unclog your arteries, lower inflammation, and improve the function of your heart. So today, I want to go over the worst foods that you may be eating right now without realizing the damage that it's doing to one of your most valuable organs, your heart. And also, I want to give you some of the best replacement options to clean out your arteries and drastically improve your heart health. First, let's start with a food that's probably going to surprise you, shark. Yes, shark is not that good for heart health. It's well known that fish, and especially the omega-3 fatty acids found in fish, benefit your heart. For example, decades ago, researchers found that communities that eat a lot of fish had way lower rates of heart attacks and strokes than those who don't eat fish. This was later linked back to the omega-3 content found in fish. Some of the benefits of omega-3 fatty acids on heart health are that they reduce triglycerides, they increase levels of the good HDL cholesterol, they prevent blood platelets from clumping together, and they reduce inflammation. With that said, not all fish is created equal. Fish that are higher up on the food chain, such as sharks and swordfish, often have higher levels of mercury, which might have adverse effects on the cardiovascular system. As mentioned by a 2017 analysis, recent studies suggest that chronic exposure, even to low concentration levels of mercury, can cause cardiovascular, reproductive, and developmental toxicity, neurotoxicity, nephrotoxicity, immunotoxicity, and carcinogenicity. And another study found that mercury toxicity is strongly correlated with hypertension, coronary heart disease, microcardial infraction, cardiac arrhythmias, and generalized atherosclerosis. So when consuming fish, it's better to focus on species that are lower down in the food chain, such as anchovies, sardines, mackerel, herring, and salmon. Next, we have the commonly known issue associated with fried foods. These have been classified as a problem by the American Heart Association for some time now. This is because fried foods are high in unhealthy fats. That includes trans fats, which are created through a process known as hydrogenation. Trans fats can raise LDL cholesterol levels or the bad cholesterol while reducing HDL cholesterol levels, which is considered the good cholesterol. This can directly cause the buildup of fatty deposits in your blood vessels, which increases the risk of heart disease by blocking arteries and impeding blood flow. Trans fats also increase inflammation throughout the body, which is also very bad for your heart health. In fact, two large observational studies found that the more often people ate fried foods, the greater their risk of developing heart disease was. So to protect your heart, limit your intake of junk fried foods like fried chicken, mozzarella sticks, and french fries. Instead, choose healthier fat sources such as avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil. Next, we have high sugar sodas, which are inherently bad for heart health for various reasons. First, soda contributes to weight gain and obesity because it's high in sugar and you drink the calories. Both of these factors make soda ineffective at satiating hunger, which causes the calories from sugar to typically go on top of the calories already consumed throughout the day. So this causes weight gain and that in turn increases blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and inflammation, which negatively affects heart function. The second reason is that high sugar intake can also lead to insulin resistance, a precursor to type 2 diabetes, which can affect the heart by damaging blood vessels. And third, excess sugar consumption can cause chronic inflammation. That's a problem because, as mentioned by a 2020 paper published in the International Journal of Molecular Sciences, chronic inflammation is currently considered as one of the key factors in atherosclerosis development. Atherosclerosis is a condition where fatty deposits build up in the arteries. That leads to a restriction in blood flow and an increased risk of heart attack and stroke. Therefore, to support a healthy heart, limit your soda and overall sugar intake and choose healthier beverage options instead like water, tea, coffee, or other unsweetened beverages. Another food group that you want to avoid for better heart health are refined carbohydrate sources like white bread, pastries, and cakes. Research shows that these can be pretty bad for heart health. In fact, one study found that those who ate the most refined carbs were two to three times more likely to get heart disease than those who ate the least. One reason is that refined carbs can produce a rapid spike in blood sugar levels. Rapid blood sugar fluctuations can cause insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes, which is a significant risk factor for heart disease. Diabetes can damage blood vessels and nerves, which affects the heart as well as other vital organs. Another downside of refined carbs, similar to simple sugar, is that they're not very filling. It's easy to eat hundreds of calories in the form of white bread or cake. The associated weight gain this can cause hurts cardiovascular health by increasing blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and inflammation. 
Another food you should stay away from is sugary cereal. While cereals are often considered to be a healthy way to start the day, that couldn't be further from the truth, especially not if it includes high amounts of added sugar, which most cereals do. While consuming processed sugars in general is bad for heart health, it might be especially problematic if you consume it first thing in the morning. That's because the blood sugar fluctuations it causes will make you feel hungrier throughout the day, which can cause an increased calorie intake and ultimately lead to weight gain. On top of that, cereals aren't nutrient dense. Sure, they contain some fiber and a bit of vitamins and minerals such as B vitamins, iron, magnesium, zinc, and selenium. But the amount of each of these nutrients present aren't very high, especially when compared to more nutrient dense foods like vegetables, fruits, eggs, legumes, and nuts and seeds. It's important to get enough of all micronutrients because research indicates that being deficient increases the risk of heart issues. For example, one study found that out of a group of adults with heart failure, over 20% had a low intake of vitamin A, calcium, magnesium, selenium, and iodine, and up to 75% had a low intake of vitamin D. So you're better off consuming a low glycemic and nutrient dense breakfast, such as a spinach omelet with some beans or a piece of fruit. Moving on to margarine. Margarine is often considered to be a healthier alternative to butter. And while it does contain significantly less of the often demonized saturated fatty acids, it turns out that margarine is actually worse for your heart. This is because margarine is created through hydrogenation, a process that adds hydrogen atoms to liquid vegetable oils. The intention of this is to make the oil solid at room temperature, but the downside of this processing is that it creates trans fats. Consuming trans fats increases LDL or bad cholesterol and reduces HDL, also known as good cholesterol. High LDL cholesterol levels result in fatty deposit buildup in blood vessels, narrowing arteries and impeding blood flow, which increases the risk of heart disease and stroke. To protect your heart, limit your intake of margarine and go for healthier fat sources instead. Olive oil and avocado oil are great for cooking because they contain healthy fats and lots of heart benefiting compounds. Regular butter without any other oils mixed in also is a much better option than margarine. When selecting a margarine alternative, look for products made with non-hydrogenated oils and free of trans fats. That'll reduce your risk of developing heart problems. Now, another one that combines multiple unhealthy ingredients for your heart are cookies. Commercially baked cookies are tasty treats, but they usually have unhealthy fats like trans fats, as well as added sugars and refined carbohydrates, all of which at this point you already know are bad for your heart health. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't have a cookie or another bakery product once in a while, but it would be a good idea to consume them only sparingly and in limited amounts. Fortunately, there are alternatives. For example, homemade and bakery fresh products made with whole grains, healthy fats, and minimally added sugars are way less harmful to your heart health. There are also other alternatives if you still want a sweet treat. For example, you can have fresh fruit or dark chocolate instead. Dark chocolate specifically is a heart friendly option. The compounds in dark chocolate that provide benefits for your heart are flavanols, which are a type of flavonoid. They're shown to improve blood flow, reduce blood clotting, benefit cholesterol levels, and they decrease inflammation. Next, we have hard liquor, but keep in mind what I'm about to say applies to all different types of liquors. All types of alcohol can be bad for heart health when consumed in high amounts, but this might specifically be a greater issue with hard liquor like vodka or whiskey since it's so easy to have a significant higher amount of alcohol from these hard liquors over drinks containing a lower alcohol content. The issue with overconsumption of alcohol is that it can damage your heart by causing high blood pressure, increased triglyceride levels, and heart conditions like cardiomyopathy. Now, some of you might be thinking, what about those studies that show that drinking moderate amounts of alcohol actually improves heart health? Well, even though these studies do exist, there are some important things to keep in mind. First, let's start with what light drinking means. By most official standards, Everything after two drinks consumed per day is binge drinking for men, and for women, it's often anything after a single drink. So pretty much anyone that goes out partying is gonna go out binge drinking according to official standards. Actual light drinking by official standards is consuming a single glass of red wine per day. That's pretty much it. Researchers had a hard time isolating this so-called light drinking population because due to the fact that they already watch their alcohol intake, it already says a lot about someone's overall lifestyle. Someone that moderately drinks wine is more likely to be female, educated, of high socioeconomic status, and has above average self-control. That in turn makes it incredibly hard to find any adverse effects of alcohol because these individuals have many positive lifestyle traits working for them that may even compensate for a small amount of alcohol consumption. 
Regardless, a 2018 meta-analysis confirms that truly moderate drinking is not a health concern, but anything above that, there is a dose response risk. So to maintain a healthy heart, consume hard liquor and other alcoholic drinks in moderation, if at all. Last but not least is hot dogs and other processed meats. Based on the available evidence, red meat in general doesn't seem to be harmful to heart health, but hot dogs and other processed meat products that are modified through methods like salting, curing, and smoking can be bad. That's because they contain various compounds and factors that impair heart health like nitrates, nitrites, and nitroso compounds, nitrosamines, and polycytic aromatic hydrocarbons. These compounds can be formed when exposing red meat to high heat cooking methods. Processed red meat consumption can also raise trimethylamine and oxide levels in the body, which can impair cardiovascular health. To minimize these harmful effects, it's best to avoid processed red meat and instead cook red meat at lower temperatures. So that about wraps it up. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, keep in mind that your overall level of body fat and your body weight both can stress the heart and decrease heart health. As mentioned throughout this video, fat can build up in the arteries and obesity leads to cardiovascular problems all on its own. So if you're looking for a done for you plan that is helping my clients drop 20 pounds or 5% of their body fat in just six weeks for free, then head on over to my website and sign up for my free six week shred program. You'll get a workout plan, a meal plan, a recipe book, and a coach to help guide you through the entire process. To find out how to get the challenge for free, you can click the link in the description below, or you can head straight on over to my website at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.